Hey everybody, I'm in Barnes & Noble. I'm actually here to pick up a book for my niece because I decided every month I was going to send her a book to kind of educate her on finances because education should not just stop at the school building. Education should continue at home. Last month I sent her a book on how to turn $100 into a million dollars. Okay? We got to teach our kids a financial education. So I'm going to see what else they have here that I can pick up and send her in the mail. Okay? If they didn't have um, anything that um, talked about finances at this Barnes & Noble, I'm going to go to the other Barnes & Noble. But I just want to show you some other things that they had. Okay, for Black History Month. Who was Harriet Tubman? Who was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? What was the Underground Railroad? What was the March on Washington? And who was Rosa Parks? You can find these at Barnes & Noble. I'm going to send these to her because a lot of our young kids need to know the history. I know some people tell us that we need to forget it. It's not existing anymore, but that's not true. We need to know our history so we don't repeat our history, okay? We have to know our history. I'm going to send these to her. And if you haven't checked out some of the Black History videos that I've done on the channel, check them out, okay? I'll leave a link to some of the videos below so you can click on it, okay? Okay, um, I ended up getting the books for 25 bucks because I used my Barnes & Noble savings card, plus it was 10% off because it's Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Day weekend, so that's perfect. Okay, and like I said in there, remember that it is our responsibility to give our children the best of us and the best type of education. Regardless of what the school the school system is teaching them, you have to reinforce that at home and excel them higher, okay? As your parents and as uncles, aunts, cousins, as an older generation, you're responsible to make sure these kids get the best of you and the best that they need to get and to succeed in this world, okay? Be the example you want your children to be, okay? Let me head on home and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, I'm headed back home, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look online for those um, financial education books because um, this um, Barnes & Noble didn't have any, but I know the other Barnes & Noble had a few, and last month I purchased um, the book, it was called How to Turn $100 into a Million Dollars, and this was a kid's book, and I purchased it for my niece and I sent it to her in the mail. So I'd said each month, or at least every other month, I was gonna send her something in the mail that was gonna help educate her. Because around the holiday times and around birthdays and all that other stuff, we tend to buy kids toys, uh, games, um, sneakers, and whatever that may be. You know, the latest stuff. But we, besides feeding all that other stuff, we got to feed their minds. We're responsible for feeding their minds and help and preparing them for this world. Because the world is becoming crazy. As you can see... Um, we got a new president in and things are chaotic, chaotic with the, that whole thing and we got a new um, secretary of education in and that's getting chaotic but are you gonna let what Washington dictates what goes on in your house? It is your responsibility to take care of your family and to raise your children. If you don't like what your government officials are doing then have a voice, okay? Have a voice. Because if you just sit back and stand back and let it happen, then you're also responsible, okay? Okay, I'm going to head home and I'm going to look on the internet and see what other type of financial education books are for her. Also, I know Dave Ramsey, he teaches um, financial education. I wonder if he has anything for kids. So we're going to do that as soon as I get home. Okay, I arrived home and I'm on um, Google. And I Googled um, books that teach kids kids about finances and this is what um google had and i'm just going to scroll through the list so everybody can see you know what's available to younger children out there and remember i spoke about dave ramsey um Looks like he does have something. Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University. And I, I took the first course as an adult, um, but I haven't taken the rest of the courses. That's something I need to look into for myself.
and there's even more pages to go on Google. You can see that there's actually resources out there for your children. So if you want to teach your kids financial education, because the time to get them started is now. Our school system does not teach children about financial education, at least the school system where I came from doesn't teach that to kids, but I think you should give children a financial education early so they can be prepared now, not when they're 18 and they're going off into the world, not when they're going off into college, because that should come from home. Like I said, education starts in the home. It does not start in the school system. It is your job as your parent to equip these children for the world you give them the materials and then you reinforce it so that they have it and they're not struggling when they get older as to how to manage their finances and how to obtain wealth, okay? I hope you've enjoyed this time and as always, let's do this.